Hello friends, welcome to Textadicel. In this video, we will make the smart extension box. You can see there is a DST11 sensor, a LDR, and also there is a OLED display. And with this three touch sensor, you can control these two home plans. So let me connect this extension box with the 220 volt supply. And here I will connect this to AC lamp. You can connect any home plans instead of this AC lamp. Now I will turn on the 220 volt supply and you can see I can monitor the temperature and the humidity on this OLED display and the blink cap. Let me turn off some lights and now if I want to control these two lamp, I can easily do that from the blink cap and also from this touch sensor. Now if I want to change it to auto mode, I have to press here. Now the extension box is in auto mode. So if I turn off all the lights, I can control the relay 2 from the LDR. You can see the lamp 2 turns on. Now if I turn on all lights, you can see lamp 2 turns off automatically. Now relay 1 can be controlled with the room temperature in auto mode. So if I increase the temperature with the help of this dryer, you can see the relay 1 turns on. You can also connect a fan instead of this lamp. So when the temperature increase, the fan will automatically turn on and if the temperature decrease, the fan will automatically turn off. And you can also set the maximum or minimum temperature value as per your requirement. And I can also change the mode from the blink cap. So if I tap here, now you can see it is in manual mode. So I can turn off the relay one from this touch sensor. So this is a very useful project and during the video I will share all the details so that you can easily make this project for your home. So let's get started. These are the component required for this project and you have to connect all these components as per this circuit diagram. Now in the circuit as you can see there are a lot of connection. So to make the project professional and compact, I have designed a custom design PCB and order it from the JLC PCB. But if you want to make the complete circuit on this zero PCB, then you have to refer this layout. You can download it from the video description and using this layout, you can easily make this PCB using zero PCB or any cardboard as you can see. But if you want to use this custom design PCB for this project, then you can download the GABA file from the video description. You can order any custom design PCB from GLC PCB with three simple steps. First upload the GABA file, then select the parameter like masking color quantity, then place the order. If you select faster delivery service, then you will get the PCB within a week. And as you can see, you will get a good quality PCB in affordable price from the JLC PCB. Now I will solder all the component on this PCB as per the circuit. Now after soldering all the component, I will connect node MCU with the PCB. Then here I will connect the DHT11 sensor. And here I will connect LDR. And you can use both. 1.3 inch OLED display or 0.96 inch OLED display. Now I will quickly configure the blink app to control the relay module from the smartphone. You can download the blink app from Google Play Store or App Store. Now after installing the app, I will tap on open. Then tap on new project. Here you can give any project name. I am giving the project name smart switch box. Then in the device, I am selecting node MCU as here I am using node MCU board and the connection type should be Wi-Fi. Now I will tap on create. Now Blink will send the authentication token to the registered mail ID which will be required in the code. So again I will tap on OK. Now I will tap on this plus icon to go to widget box and add two gauge widget to see the temperature and humidity reading. Now I'll tap on first gauge widget which I will use to see that humidity reading and in the pin I will select virtual pin 5 and tap on ok and in the limit I will select 0 to 100 as it will show the relative humidity and here I will enter percentage. You can also change the color. Now our first widget is created 
I will tap on the second gauge widget and here I will type temperature and in the pin I will select virtual pin 6 and I will select the limit 0 to 50 degree Celsius and here I will type degree Celsius sign and I will also change the color our second widget also created now I will add 3 style button which will act as a switch to control the relay module so I will tap on the first style button and this style button I will use to select the mode so in the pin I will select virtual pin 3 mode will be switch and when it is 0 then it should be in manual mode so here I will type manual mode and when it will send 1 then it will go to auto mode so here I will type auto mode and I will change the color for auto mode and the manual mode now our first switch is created now I will tap on the second button and this button I will use to control relay 1 so I will select the virtual pin 1 and this will be switch type when I will send 0 then the relay will turn off and when I will send 1 the relay will turn on so thus I have created the switch for the first relay and now I am creating the switch for the second relay and here I am selecting the virtual pin 2 mode will be switch and after that I will quickly resize the button for a better look so now we can move to the coding part of this project now if you use 1.3 inch OLED display then you have to refer this code and if you use 0.96 OLED display then you have to refer this code. Here I will use 1.3 inch OLED display so I will upload this case to Node MCU. Now in this code I have already mentioned all the link for the required library you have to download this library for this project. Now if I go down these are the setting for the auto mode at maximum temperature relay 1 will turn on at minimum temperature relay 1 will turn off and at maximum light relay 2 will turn off and at minimum light relay 2 will turn on you can change this value as per your requirement after that i have to copy paste the authentication token sent by the blink so i'll go to the registered mail id and copy the authentication token and here I will paste it then you have to give the Wi-Fi credential here I have to type the Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password now if you refer the same circuit after doing this much of changes you can directly upload the code to the node MCU board for that I will go to tools select the node MCU board and the proper port then I will hit the upload button I have already explained how this code works in my previous video I have shared the video link in the description you can also check out that video after uploading the code I have connected this 1.3 inch OLED display this 2 AC lamp and a 220 volt supply with the PCB you can refer this circuit diagram for the connection now I will give the 220 volt supply as you can see we can monitor the temperature and the relative humidity both in OLED display and the blink cap now to turn on the relay 1 I just have to press the button here and you can see relay 1 turns on and I can also control this relay from this manual switch so if I press the push button the relay 1 turns off in similar way I can also control the relay 2 now to change the mode I have to press this button you can see now it is in auto mode and I can also change the mode from the push button so if I press the push button now it is in manual mode now instead of this push button I can also use this touch switch to control these two lamp so let me connect the touch switch with the relay 1 so now I can control the lamp from this touch switch if I tap on here you can see the lamp turns on and if I tap again the lamp turns off now I will place this complete circuit inside this box and use this box as a smart extension box as you can see I have placed the complete circuit inside this box now this wire is coming from the display let me show you and I have connected all the touch sensor as per the circuit diagram I am using hot glue gun to place the touch sensor now our smart extension box is ready so I will connect two AC lamp you can connect any home appliance instead of this AC lamp 
now i will turn on the 220 volt supply as you can see now we can monitor the temperature and the humidity both in oled display and the blink cap so this is a very useful iot project you can control these two lamp from your smartphone and also from the manual touch sensor and in auto mode these two lamp can be controlled automatically by sensing the room temperature and the ambient light and you can also monitor the real-time status of the switch and the room temperature in the blink app so if you find this video helpful please hit the like button and share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day